Ash to the polls. This is the six. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Alan Devlin. Metro Atlanta has less than an hour to cast votes in some pretty important elections. People who voted early have nothing to worry about, but that isn't a large number. Numbers from the Secretary of State's office reveal more than 155,000 people voted before today, but that's out of more than 7 million registered voters in the state as a whole. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon live tonight in the city of East Point for us. Doug, several groups working to increase voter turnout for future municipal elections. Yeah, and New Georgia Project was one of them. They were out here canvassing in East Point today, trying to get those last minute voters to the polls, trying to educate them about it being election day. And, you know, they talk about this myth where people think that these municipal, these local elections don't really make much of a difference. And so they don't show out to vote. And it's true. We do typically see lower turnout, as you just mentioned, in these local elections. But that's what they were out here trying to do today. They say that these local ones are just as important as national contests. Canvasser Elijah Grace knows. I'm Elijah. I'm with the New Georgia Project. There's no such thing as an unimportant election. These municipal elections are, if not just as important, more important than the federal races because we have mayor, city council, and school board races. All of them affect how we live on a daily basis. Low turnout. We want to make sure that people are already in a row to vote. Doesn't make the issues any less impactful. There's 50 something right here. He and his team were out in East Point, knocking on doors, answering questions, and offering people rideshare codes to the polls with the New Georgia Project. Back at the group's headquarters in Atlanta, their experts were waiting to take calls and monitor polling issues and disinformation. Generally, our goal today is contact, touch as many voters as possible. Karan Blair is their chief organizing officer and says if people don't care or pay attention to local elections, they should start. And if we're talking about potholes and speed bumps and school curriculum and um, shelters in our communities and addressing issues of poverty and homelessness, who ends up on the city council is going to have a lot more to say and do about that than what happens at the federal level. And if turnout is low, Stephanie Ali, the group's policy director, says that gives your vote even more power, not less. We see decisions in local elections often be decided by as few as 12 votes. Your entire household can completely flip a seat in your local elections, and so that should make people feel even more empowered, even more powerful. So this is our plug to participate in your local municipal elections, and you still can. You have just under an hour, so get out there. If you haven't voted yet and you want to, just remember that unlike early voting for Election Day voting, which is, of course, today, you have to go to your assigned precinct. We're in East Point. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First. Doug, thank you.